All right, let's talk about arrays now. Arrays is again a common structure in many programming languages. It's when you have a sequence of values that you want to access in an index-based way, then you would use something like arrays. So an array can be defined in JavaScript by using the syntax. You have a var, variable name, equals, and then a list which you're defining in line. You remember I told you how an object can be defined in line by using the curly brace, open close curly brace. Similarly, an array can be defined in line using the open close square brackets with the individual values separated by commas. And the way to access these values is using the square bracket operator, which you should be familiar with. So we have a square bracket and then you give the array index to access the value at that location. Note that JavaScript arrays as with most other languages are zero based. So the first element is index zero. So to access 100 here, I use my array of zero. Okay, so my array of one gives me 200, my array of two gives me 300. Now what does my array of three give me in this case? There is no fourth element. So what happens if I access this? Can you guess based on what you've seen so far, can you guess what the value of uh, an array access where the index is out of bounds would give me. Let's try this out. I'm gonna clear this out again. I'm gonna say var my array equals open close square bracket. Now let me have an, an array of strings. I say hello world js. Okay, so this is a simple array of three strings. And uh, yeah, three elements in the array. Now, if I were to access console.log my array of zero, let me reload and run. It is going to give me the first element because it's zero based. Now, if I were to ac access uh, my array of one, let me actually do this here. This is another way you can uh, you can evaluate expressions in the browser rather than type console.log here, you can just type in the expression here and uh, we've seen this, it's gonna execute it. So let's say my array of one, hit enter, it's gonna give me world. My array of two, it's gonna give me JS. Now what happens if I do my array of three? I'm gonna get the value undefined. So this is how things work in JavaScript arrays, just like you, just like it worked with objects, right? So if you access an object where the property doesn't exist, it would give you undefined. Similarly, if you access an array where the array index is out of bounds, it does not exist, the value you get back is undefined. You do not get an error. You don't get an array out of bounds error. It just returns undefined. Now, some other concepts about arrays. Now, how do you add a value to an array? Now, let's say I have three elements in the array. I want to add the fourth element. So I want to add my array of three. So the way to do that is to say my array of three equals and give it a value. You can give any value you want here, but basically it adds to whichever location you, you choose. So let's say I say Java brains here and uh, reload and run. I'm going to get this back. But now if I were to access my array, you see here, it has that fourth element, which is Java Brains. It is at index three. So that's all it takes. All you have to do is to just assume that that location is available in the array and put the value at that location. 